I was not expecting to do this, but somehow I saw a comment. <laughs> I saw a comment from our heart favorite, Mr. Mustafa Speaks once again, who was alluding to this debate and saying that the Muslim guy won. And I was like, if this idiot can think like this, so why not just show them exactly how stupid this argument was in any ways? So yes, I have a bit of an extract from from this debate. Uh, you can obviously watch this. Not a debate. It's not even a debate. I will show you how it's not even a debate because this guy, even Fuban X Y Z, ran away in the first argument. In the first argument, he just ran away. So now let me start by sharing the video file and we will we'll see how Ibn Fubin How's it going? So this is where they come up. Uh, it is David Wood and Anthony. Sam is in the background. He did not have a discussion with this guy because uh, Anthony was actually leading. Anthony was leading so it is all anthony so let's just listen uh, this and you will see how this is not a debate and how fast ibn fuban ran away from an actual discussion when he had an issue i'm going to tell i'm going to explain certain things at the same time but i have very small thing that i extracted out of the whole discussion let's play that good good are we oh, are we fisting or <laughs> yeah, we're good. We're good. Are we good? Okay. Cool. Okay. How you doing? Good to meet you. Good, yeah, but I know it's got to be six feet. Yeah, six feet. Yeah. Okay. So you guys Christians, I'm assuming? You know who we are. Come I don't know who you are. Oh, Why would you assume? First lie. You are telling me Ibn Fubin, who has talked about CP, who has challenged CP, who has talked about Sam, and all these, and David Wood, he does not know David Wood and Anthony Rogers. What a hypocrisy to begin with. And you want these kind of hypocritical people, you, you as in Abdul follow these kind of hypocritical people, liars. Come on, man, be reasonable here. But anyway, check this out, check how, check you will see that he not even know him, but also knows his nickname. So Ibn Fuban, not only know him, but also his nickname. Check this out. Oh my God, I know who you are. Are you famous? I just asked him. I know, but you were acting like somebody was getting up with you. I think. Oh no, 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 no. Good conversation. Yeah, yeah. Let's have it. So you are David. I'm David. David Wood. Wood. Yeah. Hammer time. What's that? They call you Hammer Time, right? Ah, they call you Hammer Time. <laughs> Man, this guy is such a liar and he can't even, he can't even stop his lie that just one and a half minute into the discussion, he called him hammer and then he will have a longer discussion with Anthony. Check this out. So yeah, some people Okay, do. okay, gotcha. Yeah. That's oh, you. you do it all. Yeah, no, no, somebody told me about you, yeah, so yeah, that's okay. good to finally meet yeah. you. Yeah. Nice. You guys flew to San Diego? To be a gangbanger down here in uh, San Diego. Oh, right? man, you know me. He was, he was too. He was too. He was too. You were? What did they call you down I don't know here? if I should be telling you, man. Uh -huh. You were a gangbanger? Well, they called him Hammer Time. What did they call you? They called me Shooter. Shooter. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. We're on even playing field then. So, he not only know David Wood, but also Anthony Rogers and he called him gangbanger or something like that. Yeah, if I'm not if I'm not pronouncing it wrongly. So why would you even start with a lie? Just say that for the record or for the video, I would like you to introduce yourself. Why would you start with a lie? But we will see how much more lies they will he will actually keep on proclaiming. Let's watch a little further. So yeah, I explicitly. You might have seen more, but I see. Well, I saw one video. It popped up. Uh, it was because you mentioned Christian Prince. Okay. And it was where you you said you you challenged him to a debate. You said yeah. you debate anyone. So yeah, anyone. So we decided. You said you you challenged him to a debate. You said yeah. you debate anyone. So yeah, anyone. So we decided. 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 So 
he challenged Christian prince to debate. And then he said he will debate anyone. After that, there is literally a 10 to 12 minutes of introduction that they are having. God knows why they are doing that. But Ibn Fuban is going on left, right and center. But anyhow, 28 minutes later, which is actually only 10 minutes into the debate. This is what he said. Check this out. Absolutely. Right, well, thank you. Yeah. Have a nice day. Have, right? Right? Yeah. Let me let me Someone explain. Let me, wait, wait, let me, wait, wait, do you want me to answer him? Well, yeah, uh, you can answer him. But what I'm getting at is, okay. don't, don't pretend that you refuted Christianity just because oh, okay. you, you so, rolled your eyes at it. Let me. This is this yeah. is the historic Christian position, okay. which your religion later came along and claimed that it was confirming and correcting at, at points of its departure, which you believe from what was originally true. You don't refute Christianity by eye rolling. Surely you know that, right? What is your argument against that? Okay, you want me to speak? Yeah. Okay. I'm not here to refute Christianity. I'm not here to debate. I'm here to give dawah. I am a da'i, not a debater. You misunderstood it. If you what? More, but I, see, well, I saw one video, it popped uh, up. Did you guys hear it? It was because you mentioned Christian Prince. Okay. And it was where you, you said you, you challenged him to a debate. You said yeah. you debate anyone. So, yeah, anyone. So we decided, you said you, you challenged him to a debate. You said yeah. you debate anyone. So, yeah, anyone. So we decided. So, yeah, anyone. So we decided. Okay. I'm not here to refute Christianity. I'm not here to debate. I'm here to give dawah. I am a da'i, not a debater. You misunderstood it. If so. <laughs> So the first thing when Anthony Rogers explained him how Jesus came to this world and then he alluded to the fact that you are telling me, I won't even say it. He'll say it later. Let's go there. But anyhow, after that, he said, okay, bye bye Tata. And they were like, what do you mean by bye bye Tata? If you do not accept something, it does not mean it is not true. You asked for debate and now you are saying I am just a da'i who gives dawah and I cannot even challenge Christians like this is and and these Muslims who would watch this debate will say hey our Muslim won. How did this Muslim won? The thing is that Anthony Rogers produced logical and philosophical evidences and these two evidences are not enough for any Muslim because they have no brain. They have used brain taka tak. They eat brain masala. They don't use it. They eat it. And that's why the problem is that philosophical and log logical arguments are not considered as winning of a debate rather than using derogatory terms is the right way to win. This is how they perceive it. So in this video, you'll watch what's happening. Check this out. 10 minutes later, after now, you know, after this time, Anthony Rogers is only trying to make him talk to him. Imagine that. So he is only a dai, but he said he wants to have a debate with anybody. Check further out. First thing, the vast majority taking something or not taking not doesn't really matter to me. Second thing, I didn't make an argument. I gave you my opinion. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Amen. That was my point. Right. So he first alluded to the uh, fact that vast majority doesn't mean anything, but it does not mean something to me. Check this out again. This is very important. I'm here to give dawah. I am a da'i, not a debater. You misunderstood it. First thing, the vast majority taking something or not taking is not, doesn't really matter to me. Second thing, I didn't make an argument. I gave you my opinion. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Amen. That was my point. Right. So, opinion. Do you think an opinion matters in the line of, of a discussion when you are talking about scriptures? That's my point number one. So my point number one is, does an opinion matters? You can hold an opinion that moon is a sun and sun is a moon. Does it make any difference? You can hold an opinion that water is not water 
or water is pure no matter whether there are dead animals in it or menstruation clothes in there or people's uh, poo poo is in there and it is still pure and i'm going to do wadu with that does that make that water pure no so if muhammad did that it does not means that muhammad was using a pure water by the way some people who knows about what i'm saying i am talking about the well of bida which is 6 cubit in length and the height is only up to the knees or a little above the knees and muhammad used the water of that well to do wudu i e took it in his mouth as well and do the rinsing three times does that make that water clean no but that's an opinion opinion does not matter what matters is what is written and what whether the written can be proclaimed or not so check this out now yes thank as you as myself everyone. as a muslim as othman standing here i'm telling you to me if you come and tell me that the basis of your religion is that god put himself that he impregnated a woman named mary and she became then his mother he impregnated his mother and came into the womb of of mary and then was born out of a vagina to me the conversation's over your religion to me has no appeal because to me that just that's just disgusting and doesn't make sense my personal view right i once again my personal view once again my personal view he did not say anything else because he simply cannot say anything else he does not have a logically evidence for that and then he will going to allude to certain passages against anthony which i am going to show on screen how deceptive idiotic his claims were but let's carry on a little that your right to have your now, view now do you think and i'm not going to get into that now but do you okay. think that i find certain things about islam sure. repugnant or attractive or not sure okay do you think that it would be rational for me to reject islam on the basis of my personal revulsion okay do you have an answer yeah. okay your personal belief has to do with you mm -hmm. if you don't like something in islam you have the right to reject mm -hmm. you, you i didn't come up you have the right to reject it imagine that you have the right to reject it do you i can show you that as well but let's finish let let him finish you at your table and bring this you came to me you right you technically invited i did i did you technically and invited so who came to whose table he called them out the people whom he said that i don't even know you he called them out now when they are here he is saying you are here i'm not there why are you preaching me they are not here to preach mr dai by the way dai in our culture is called a woman who deliver babies <laughs> but that's a separate thing anyhow coming back to the point this guy from point 1 till now he has done 10 fallacies in his in his current discussion so far so now i will go into the meat of the subject uh, the meat of the subject is this one because now certain arguments were presented now certain arguments are presented and those arguments needs to be uh, rejected because anthony rogers actually as a man of honor sticked to the topic of jesus but this guy this guy went into multiple areas of blasphemy so now check this out okay i think i made a lot of pause over here if you want i will give you the islamic view mm -hmm. and if you don't like it you can reject and walk up yeah. have a nice day in dabo park so so my invitation for this conversation i the, i'm not here to debate as i said earlier i'm a dai not a debater again he said after another 10 minutes 15 minutes into a discussion he alluded i am a dai <laughs> and not a debater so how can somebody have a debate with this idiot whenever he gets stuck he is going to say i am not a a debater but i am a dai whereas he is the one who challenged everyone 
to come up for a debate and he even challenged christian prince whom who will demolish him in split seconds and he even challenged christian prince whom who will demolish him in split seconds uh -huh. Mary's vagina. Nobody, he's not asking, God. Wait, 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 wait bring, me, bring me, bring me. No, no, hold on, hold on, Lewis. If you, if you're gonna jump in, then handle it. No, no. If, you, if you're gonna jump in, I, I, now, wait, wait. See, see, Dave. You see what I mean? You see. So, somebody told him. So somebody told him that Allah blew into Mary vagina, and he's like, "Who told you? Who told you?" Uh, so if that is what he does not know. Anthony Rogers should have told him that right there and then, but you know, Anthony Rogers is more of a nice guy. He is a nicer person. So he did not go into that particular area, but we can definitely go there. What is this? Okay. This is Quran chapter number 21, Surah number, uh, Ayah number uh, 91. It says, and she who guarded her private part she who guarded her private part what is the private part vagina vagina that's the private part that is the private part sam brother please come in now you can you can demolish that part as well very easily other than least me so you can come in now i just wanted to show the initial stuff where he was lying after lying but now i'm going to meet into the meat of the subject so you can jump in whenever you feel like brother i would love to shut up and you take over if you want to whenever you feel like coming so the so the so faraj comes in from the word vagina it comes in from the word vagina hey brother sam how are you brother faraj i was waiting for you loser to tell me when to come in brother i, I said you are always man, welcome Don't you are worry such about loser it. man why are you like this man you are a loser man Man, that's why I'm here because I am the loser. L for, love. L for love, losing sin. By the way, that wasn't me. That was my friend Lewis. Yes, I was there. You, I know. I, he was I, saying I, Lewis. Yeah, I know. But some guy here, a Smiler, was saying that uh, that was me. No, it wasn't. I was there. I know what happened. So, if you guys want inside scoop, I was there. I know what happened. That's why I'm coming on instead of you guys guessing or assuming what happened hear it from the horse's mouth. So I was there trying to recover. I've been traveling. So I went to San Diego to meet him. So if you guys want the inside story, I can give you the inside story. I can tell you what, uh, Mo Rashid, if you were attention, guys, if you see, this is one, thing. I was dealing with Muslims around him. And I say, nine out of the 10 Muslims are dishonest and disgusting. There was only one guy that I thought was respectful. These debates should tell you how demonized Muslims are and how disgusting they are and how dishonest they are. The more I try to give Muslims the benefit of the doubt, the more <clears throat> they confirm why I should never give them the benefit of doubt. Because unless and until Jesus Christ convicts them and the Holy Spirit delivers them and brings them to Christ, the disgusting, filthy, wicked, immoral people. And I'm talking about the Muslim apologists. Okay, now, don't get me wrong. I'm not talking about the Muslim mothers or the grandmothers or the children. I don't want people to misquote me. I'm not talking about children. I'm not talking about the old Muslim ladies, the grandmothers, the mothers. I'm talking about these young Muslim apologists you guys are all filthy and wicked and disgusting and you have no honor no shame but i shouldn't be surprised because you're you're following the spirit of your filthy prophet and here's why let me now give you inside story and this is all recorded we have it all recorded lord willing it's going to be uploaded on anthony's channel it's going to be uploaded on david wood's channel on vocab channel and then i'm going to upload their footage to my channel you know what i mean the reason why we couldn't get our footage online as fast as Uthman is because they're flying are you with me there they're yes, flying yes, yes. okay they flew in from other states we had to drive from san diego at 9 p.m at night to arizona and i didn't get home till two in the morning so they had to then go to the hotel 
try to get four or five hours of sleep, and then jump on planes and go back home. So, but the Muslims think that because we didn't upload the videos, that means we're ashamed. Because again, like I said, you Muslim da'is, you Muslim apologists, you sicken me and you disgust me because you really are immoral and you're filthy and you are ISIS. The reason why you don't kill people here is because the laws are against you. But give you the opportunity, you would behead us, you would take our women and rape them, even if they're married, and then you would treat them like whores under the name of Muta. I'm very being honest. I'm being very honest. I always want to give Muslims the benefit of doubt. Now, let me give you the details that's recorded. This is why I love Christian Prince's attitude. Christian Prince's attitude is the only way to deal with these Muslims.